Hi booktube! My name is Sarah and welcome to The Bookish Knitter. Today I am coming to you with a video to talk all about my 2022 SAS list. So for those of you who don't know what a SAS list is, it was created by, the idea behind this whole thing was created by Elizabeth over at Lizzie Fay Loves Books. She is one of my favorite booktube channels. She's been around. It feels like like she's a staple in booktube essentially. And much like myself, she reads a lot of series. And she started doing this, I think it was last year. And the SAS means serious about series. So getting serious about getting some of the series that you're reading finished. So I heard a lot of people talking about this at the beginning of the year and I'm just like, nah, I'm not going to jump into that. And then the more that this year has gone on, um, there are so many people who are talking about their SAS list and, and the books that are on there and what have you. And I thought, all right, let's put one together for the second half of 2022. So starting at the beginning of July to the end of December, in the second six months of the year, essentially. And that way I'm not committing to an entire year because the one thing I noticed a lot of people are like, oh, they've gone rogue on their SAS list or they're adding more series on or they're not sticking to it or whatever the case may be. So that's why I thought it would be kind of fun just to focus on the second half of the year, see how well I do. And then I was even thinking like if I enjoyed this, next year I might do the same thing, create one SAS list just for the beginning of the year and then another one for the second half of the year or create a list four times a year like for January, February, March, and then April, May, June. You know what I mean? Like to break it up so that way you're not feeling like you're having to stick with this list for 12 whole months. You're only committing to six months or three months or even one month, you know, whatever you want to do. So this isn't exactly the way that Elizabeth put it all together. I think she's got like, because it's 2022, it was like, maybe finished duologies or something like that. Elizabeth loves alliterations and things like that. So I don't know what she's planning on for 2023, but essentially the way that I am doing this, because I am going rogue on, based on what Elizabeth originally, like based on, I guess, her prompts for lack of a better word, is that I'm just focusing on trying to get series finished. So what I did was I'm like, there are uh, 26 weeks from the first week in July to the end of December, I'm going to pick 26 books, but they're part of series. So I have a, how many series do I have here? I have 11 series in total. And within that 11 series, I had 26 books. So does that make sense? So I'm going to go through all this and share it all with you, I promise. But essentially, if I can get all of these read, so essentially I'm, I'm reading a book a week is the way it goes for my SAS list, one book a week. And if I can stick to that for the entire six months, that will put me finishing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 series. That'll have me finishing 10 series. However, one of these series is brand new. <laughs> it's like, I'm doing a series from start to finish. I'm going to, I'm not marathoning. I'm not a series marathoner. I don't like read book one, book two, book three. I can't do that. I need to jump around, but at least this way it, it gives me 11 different series to work on over the course of the next six months. So I'm very, very excited about this, you guys. So far, I've stuck to the plan um, for the first two weeks, I guess, of July. And uh, yeah, so let me go through all of the books that I have here. I'm sorry if I keep glancing over, but my tablet is sitting here with all of my information. So the very first series is the Bare Knuckle Bastard series by Sarah McLean. I have one book left to finish in this series, and that is Daring and the Duke. It's the third book in the series, so I need to finish this one. That will get this series completely finished for me. Um, the next list, these are in no particular order. They're just how I wrote them down. Um, is the only series that I'm not finishing the series because I think it's still ongoing for one. And there are chances that some of these may be ongoing. I don't think so. I'm just kind of looking at them all and I don't, well, no, there's one that might be, but this one for sure, I'm not finishing it now. Side note, here's the reason why. If you guys have been watching me for any length of time, you know that in the month of December, I only read holiday themed books. But I usually end the year off with a thriller. The last book I usually read, like around New Year's Eve, is a thriller for some reason. I've been doing that the last few years and I really like it. But majority of December, I am only reading Christmas-themed books. So what I did here was 
I made sure to give myself four Christmas themed books in series that would, that I, believe me guys, I had to put a lot of mathematical thought into this. <laughs> so that I would end some of these on Christmas books. So those are the ones that are going to get read in December. I know that's just my kind of, it's the way my brain works, you guys. So the reason I am stopping this series at a certain point, even though there's still more books in the series, is because it's a Christmas book. And then that way it'll give me one of the Christmas books for December. So the next series is A Bookstore Cafe Mystery by Alex Erickson. This is a cozy mystery series and I am reading the first book. I'm hoping to get back to the first book this month. I talk, I've talked about this one before. It's not an absolute favorite series of mine. I like it. It's a cozy mystery set in a bookshop slash cafe. Um, so I need to read four. I'm going to, my plan is four books in this series for the six months. The first book is Death by Coffee, which is book number one in the series. I actually, as of filming this, my plan is it's on my list to read this week. Um, this book two in the series is Death by Tea. So that's going to be the second one. I have read the third book, which I believe was the Death by Pumpkin Spice or something like that. It was a, ho a holiday or a Halloween one. I read it last year or the year before. I can't remember. And then I need to read book four, which is Death by Vanilla Latte. And then it's going to, I'm going to stop at book five, which is Death by Eggnog. Um, and that's, of course, the holiday one for December. So the rest of them, I'm obviously going to read before December. I mean, that's just kind of a given, right? So yeah, so I am excited about that one. I'm hoping, I think like the first book I've tried to read it twice and both times I wasn't able to get through it. I think it might be suffering from that first book in series because I did like the third book. So I'm hoping once I can get past that first book and get it more into the series, it'll be a lot better. So anyway, the next series that I have here on my list is the Fairy Tale series by Eloisa James. This is another historical romance series. Um, I need to read book four and five, and then that will finish off this one for me. So these are all, this entire series is retellings of classic fairy tales, and I love it. The first two books were fantastic, uh, A Kiss at Midnight and When Beauty Tamed the Beast. The third book, which was a retelling of, was it The Princess and the Pea? I didn't particularly love it, unfortunately, but I'm hoping for better things for the last two books. So book four is The Ugly Duchess, which I believe is a retelling of The Ugly Duckling. And then number five is Once Upon a Tower, which may be a Rapunzel. So very excited. I really love Eloisa James's writing and I'm looking forward to these. Uh, the next group is a book that I've read the final book in the series, but now need to go back and read the first three. Um, and this is a series that, while it's labeled as a series, is a loosely connected series. The only way it's connected is that all four books are unsolved mysteries. So they have nothing to do with each other outside of that. So I just finished the first book last week, which was Cold Case Colorado by Cassie Miles. This is a Harlequin Intrigue series. And then I have to read Cold Case Reopened by Carrie Dad Panino. And then I have Cold Case Flashbacks by Janice K. Johnson. And the fourth book I've already read, which was the first book I've read by Denise Ann Wheatley, which came out last year, Cold Case True Crime, I think it was called. And I really liked that one. And I did, I didn't love the first book, but because these are four different authors and they're four very different um, books, essentially, like if you weren't told that they were part of a series, you wouldn't know that they were part of a series, uh, you know, it is what it is. You're going to get good and bad books within series. Um, the next one is one that I'm already reading. Uh, I'm actually, as of filming this, I'm hoping to finish the book today. But it's the Amish Marketplace series by Amy Clipston. And I have read book one and book three. So I need to read book two and book four. <laughs> I told you guys, I am trying to start reading series in order, so hopefully this will not be the case when I put this list together next year. So the one I'm reading right now is The Farm Stand, so I'm going to finish this one off today as of filming this. By the time you guys see it, I will probably already be done it. And then um, I need to finish off the fourth and final book in the series, which is The Jam and Jelly Nook. So I am enjoying this series. It's really cute. It's about four cousins who work in a Amish um, marketplace and they all have different um, booths, if you will, and they all find romance and they're really sweet and delightful. Uh, next up, another cozy mystery series, A Coffee Lover's Mystery by Tara Lush. I have read the first book in this series and I have books two and three 
from NetGalley and I need to get them read. So book number two is Cold Brew Corpse. These all take place in South Florida um, and it's a coffee shop in South Florida. I think the town is called Devil's Beach or something like that. Um, and then the final book is, or the, I shouldn't even say it's a final book. I don't know if this is going to finish the series because I don't know if she's writing any more. But then the most recent book is Live and Let Grind, which is book number three. So hoping to get those two done. And at least I'll be caught up on this series, if not finished it, depending on if it's done or not. Um, next up to finish a series is another Christmas book. Uh, so this one's going to get read in December. I've read the first two books in the series. I'm looking forward to getting to the third. This is the Highland Georgia series by Laura Trentum. And the book I need to read is A Highlander is Coming to Town, book number three. Finish off the trilogy, be done with it. Yay, I'm very excited. This has been a really, really fun series, you guys. Seriously, it's been delightful. Um, next up, we have the Alaskan Diner Mystery Series. Another cozy. I have a lot of cozies on this. I, I feel like I've got a good mix between cozy and romance here. Um, so this takes place in a diner in Alaska. I have read book number two, but a lot of people say how much they enjoy this one. Again, I don't know if this series is complete or whether there's going to be more books coming, but as of right now, we've only got three books. So I'm going to go back and read the first book, which is Moose and Murder, and it's M-O-U-S-S-E, -S -S like the dessert moose. And then book three, which is Murphy's Slaw. So looking forward to those books. Then comes the series I'm pardon me, going to read from start to finish. Um, this is, pardon me, I've got the hiccups. This is, I believe, a Desire series, and it's only a four-book series, and it's by the great Maisie Yates, and I love, love, love Maisie Yates. Somebody was talking about her when I was putting my list together, and I'm like, well, am I caught up on everything from Maisie? Like, I'm pretty sure I have, like, gaps to fill in, in a lot of the series by her that I'm reading and I came across this one. So this is part of the Cooper or the Copper Ridge series. So this is a big series by Maisie Yates, but there's little mini series off the main one. Does that make sense? So I decided to pick one of the off shots of a four book series. And this is the Donnelly. So I believe it's about four siblings. Um, so we have Slow Burn Cowboy is book number one. Down Home Cowboy, which is book number two. Wild Ride Cowboy, which is book number three, and Christmas Time Cowboy, which is book number four, and that gives me another Christmas book for December. It's part of the other reason that I did that as well. So, see, I was thinking. Um, and then the next one is a, another mini series in a way. It's part of the Montana Maverick series. I've talked about this before. It's for special edition. They do these uh, every year. Um, is it every year for the last six months, like from July to December, they do a Montana Mavericks mini series. And I think for the first half of the year, like January through June, they do, is it the fortunes of, no, it's not the fortunes, it might be the fortunes of Texas. I can't remember. They do one mini series at the beginning of the year and one at the end of the year. So these are written by various authors. So each of the six books are written by a different author, but this is a continuity is what they call it. So each author is kind of given the Bible. This is kind of what we want you to do. Write the story. Here's your characters. Here's the situation. Give us the great story that you're going to write. And I really, really enjoy these. So we have, um, this is the Real Cowboys of Bronco Heights series, which I read book five for because last winter, um, Brie uh, and I, when we co-hosted the Categorically Romance podcast, she still hosts it, um, we were on the Boobies and Newbies podcast with Kelly, and we were doing the 12 Days of Boobness, as she calls it, and we were reading, we decided to read the fifth book in this series because it was a category book. We focused on category romance. It was a lot of fun but I now want to go back and read the rest of the books. So I just last month finished the first book in the series, which was The Rancher's Summer Secret, which I really, really liked. I did not write down who all the authors on these are. I do apologize. That was Christine Rimmer. I know that for sure. Um, then we have For His Daughter's Sake, which is book number two, which I believe is Stella Bagwell. You guys are going to see the authors up here on the covers. I'm not going to try and guess the rest of them because I don't remember. So then we have The Most Eligible Cowboy, which is book number three. Grand Prize Cowboy, which is book number four. We're skipping book five because I've already read it, which I think it was a Kathy Douglas. 
And then we will be ending off on Dreaming of a Christmas Cowboy, which is book number six, which is my fourth Christmas book for the month of December. <laughs> I'm so pleased with myself for this. And last but not certainly not least, the single book that I need to finish to finish off this series. There are novellas, but I'm counting the series done, even if I haven't read the novellas yet, because I'm typically not one to jump on a lot of novellas. I do want to start a list so I can like go back and start reading them for various different series, but I count the series complete even if I haven't read the novellas yet. And that is the seventh and final book in the Winston Brothers series by the great Penny Reed, Beard Necessities. So I'm looking forward to getting this series done. So that's it guys. That is my SAS list for July through December of 2022. Like I said, we're going to see how this goes listening to a lot of other people talk about it, like, you know, that they, you know, are going off their list, that they're adding new things to their list, that they're having a hard time sticking to their list. That's what kind of makes me think to myself, well, maybe what I'll do is I'll see how well this works. And if it does, then maybe I'll do this next year, do a list for January to June, and then a list from July to December. Or like I said, for three months, or even for four months, do three lists and do it like January, February, March, April and then May, June, July, August, and then September, October, November, December. You know what I mean? Like break it up that way. So it's not one huge list for 12 months. So yeah, we shall see how this goes. Um, but I will keep you guys updated. So I hope that you enjoyed that. Let me know, are you participating in the series about series? I will of course leave link to Elizabeth's announcement video in the description box below. Probably came out at the tail end of last year. Um, but at least you can get some more information if you want to do this yourself. And if you are participating, how are you doing on your own list? And until my next video, everybody take care and happy reading. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye guys. Thank you.